Hi Taurus and welcome to your love story tarot reading for August 2019. Um, I'm going to go with one storyline with this reading so it will either fit and resonate or it will not. Um, I read you on this side, the other person on this side. However, if you feel this is more you, swap it. If you're a cross watcher and you feel this is more you and this is more Taurus, feel free to swap it as well. Okay, so Taurus, I'm going to start by pulling a card to look at what is the, you know, energies going on within you as well as within the other person coming through in this love reading. Okay, so inside of you, we have a shift perception. And within them, we have enchanting kiss. Okay, so Taurus, um, what's going on here is uh, either you are changing your mind about something in regards to this person or that's your advice, like you need to, okay? There's something within you that needs to shift and it, you know, like the way you see it, the way you perceive it. Um, like, so this to me, because they're coming through as enchanted kiss is very positive. Right away, there's like, they're very enchanted by you. Um, you know, that's what's going on within them. They're very enchanted by you. They especially love to kiss you, like they like your kiss. A great deal but it goes deeper than that okay um, they're very drawn into you this other person coming through so let's see what is projected externally okay because sometimes all right that's a bonus card sometimes um, what's being projected externally is no reflection of what somebody's really feeling and thinking inside right so let's see what is being projected externally All right, on your side, we have the five of ego energy. So you're being really guarded, Taurus, with this person. And they are coming through as the ten of karmic energy. That is what they are projecting towards you. Very interesting. And the bonus card in between is the feminine of heart energy. Okay, this actually kind of makes some sense. Taurus... Um, what they're projecting externally is not what they feel about you within, okay? Externally, it's like, it's all about the show. It's all about the facade. <clears throat> like, I want to keep up with appearances. Um, so, you know, just an example would be if this person is with somebody else and not with you, it's like for you they're very enchanted, very drawn into you. However, it's like their front, their facade, their status is more important to them at this time. Like, I don't know, that's what this is about. It's like we've got to keep up the show, keep up the appearance. So if like you're together in a relationship, it's that's the that energy where you may be questioning, you know, do you really care about me or is it about what I have and what I could do for you? Um, because you are coming through very guarded, Taurus, really questioning things, questioning if you're being manipulated, okay? And here, the feminine of heart energy, this could be like an external factor, which could be a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this could be what is missing here, like this heart energy, this love connection where we are open, we are vulnerable. It's um, deep, deep emotional intimacy, okay? And that may be what feels like it's lacking between the two of you, and that's why you're questioning this person, okay? Really guarding yourself, really holding back um, because maybe you're like, does this exist? Or, you know, it could be... Oh, man, Taurus, I don't know. This feels third party to me. Something about that. I don't like that, but I mean, I've got to go with what I'm feeling. So let's see. Let's pull some dice here. And I got six. Yes. Okay, so we have the um, Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. And man, here's that Queen of Cups again because um, the feminine of heart energy would be, you know, water. And here it is again with this Queen of Cups. So this could involve like this person you 
<clears throat> coming through could be a water sign. Um, but again, you know, if there's like the third party element to this, it's like maybe that water sign is the third party. All right, over here on their side, we have the tower. We have the sun. And we have, is this the ten? Yes, ten of pentacles. Okay, Taurus, so, wow. That there, it's like, man, this person, Taurus, is so worried about status, about keeping up with appearances, of maybe about truth coming out to friends, family, in the workplace. Like, there is some sort of, like, I can't let this be known. Man, let me pull what's between the two of you, because you... It, the way you're coming through, Taurus, it's like um, you're very guarded. It's like you're not open to a new beginning. Um, you don't want to be emotional. You don't want to let this person see and know like what you're really feeling inside for some reason. Okay, like you're really blocked and there's something within you like that needs to shift, that needs to change when it comes to this person and over here it's like as enchanted as they are with you um they're I kind of feel like either they're with somebody else or um if they're with you it's like this energy this other energy is present somehow so let me all right so we have the empress The Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. So, Taurus, I am very torn <laughs> of whether you are with this person or disconnected from this person, okay? Um, I really am about this reading. I'm very torn about this because you are coming in so guarded and so protective of your energy and they are coming through as like I'm putting up this front, I'm putting up this show and then in between it's like this fertility, like this fertile energy um, and maybe it's like you feel like they swoop in um, when they want like something from you, maybe money, um, sex, comfort, uh, you know, it's like you really question this person's intentions with you. Like, what is it that you truly want from me? Do you really love me? Or are you just here for like what I can give to you, what I can offer to you? And, um, you know, maybe just because we have such strong feminine energy, like, um, maybe you guys have a child in common, okay? Um, or you feel like if maybe that's what this external factor is, like um, um, somebody's baby mama, okay? And you that like causes conflict or something, some interference, um, a baby mama, baby daddy, like in this connection, like I don't know, like maybe we keep certain things secret so that that person doesn't, you know, the baby mama, baby daddy doesn't find out. And to you, you're like, why do we got to be secret? Like, what does it matter if if they know about us? Like, if you're not with them anymore? Like, yeah, there's definitely something like that going on, Taurus. And that's like, um, it puts a wedge between the two of you because this person is really trying to keep up some sort of facade show um, appearance. And you're not feeling that. Like, you you don't like it. Um, you, you suspect it or... Yeah, there's just, mm, Taurus, this is not good. Let's pull some more cards here. And I just, like, I really want to go with one storyline here. But, Taurus, honestly, I cannot tell, like if you guys are together or not. And I had a similar issue with Aries reading. I don't really see any Aries cards going on in your read, but um, yeah, it's like, I don't know. 
very interesting energy like together but not or not together but still very connected okay so here on your side we have soulmate over here on their side we have friend zone and in between we have jealousy okay so Taurus, yeah, I really feel like there is some sort of external influence. And I think I've seen that in readings of the past. Um, but it's like you're really holding back. Like you feel like this person is your soulmate. You are one, like where you belong. And whoever, you know, this external factor is, it creates a lot of jealousy and insecurity between the two of you. And I feel like this, you're partner is either like telling you that's just a friend like we're just friends now or it's like they're telling everybody else like maybe ex or baby mama baby daddy that you are just a friend when clearly there's more going on there's just like this external factor of friend but that's it's more than that so it's like if you're picking up Taurus that there's more going on um I just, I feel like you're right, okay? Like, there's more emotion behind it. Like, they're hiding something. They're keeping up some sort of facade, like, trying to pretend like it doesn't exist. And I'm not saying that there's cheating going on or anything like that if we're together, okay? I'm not saying that there's cheating. It's just you're picking up on something for a reason. And um, so you're really holding back here. And I could see why, like I would too, like because you're picking up on some sort of energy, a different emotion that does not connect to your relationship together and you're picking up on that like foreign energy and they're denying it to you, okay? Or um, they're like keeping you a secret for some reason and you've had enough like it, it this whatever's going on here is causing like a lot of jealousy insecurity and friction and maybe in the past like you were hoping to like kind of ride this out and wait it out um but it, i don't it's like not a whole lot is changing and so now you're really questioning what what is this like um, so if we are disconnected, it's like, um, it, I almost feel like they would be telling you, oh, where I'm at, like, it's not what you think, like, I'm all about you, and you're like, really, are you sure about that, you know, or if you're together, it's like this external factor, they're telling you, oh, you're just jealous, you're just insecure, that's just a friend, there's nothing going on there, and Taurus, they're, there's a front. They're keeping up a front. However, with the tower there and the sun, there is some truth coming to light um, within this relationship, within this connection, Taurus, in the month of um, August. There is things coming to light, things being revealed for sure. So let's pull these last dice and get some more insight. All right, so we have the Two of Cups. The Three of Cups, the Five of Wands, and Justice. Okay, so Taurus, um, yeah, here's the connection, you and your person, Two of Cups, but here's the Three of Cups thing right next to it, this external factor, influence, force, person, whatever it may be, causing conflict within the relationship, this five of wands, okay? And with justice, it's like Taurus, um, truth is coming to light. Truth is being revealed in this relationship, in this connection, um, just like what's going on, like it's coming to light. Um, and so if you've been like kept a secret, it might finally be where you're coming out and you're like, no, I'm not pretend I'm not like you either own me and own this or we're not going to be I don't care what you're afraid to lose or what it's going to cause by a certain person knowing we're together like I'm over it I'm done it's like you're not interested in keeping up the secret or the facade with this person if you have been because at this point it's a very real connection for you and you're like why do you have to pretend or hide 
this connection from certain people or from a certain person like why it, it doesn't make sense anymore and you're absolutely right because Taurus it does cause a lot of conflict between the two of you which you're asking for is not too much it's you know you're asking for fairness now if this is swapped where you are keeping a relationship secret tucked away within you whether you're engaging in it or not and you're person is picking up on that energy like they're coming to the point Taurus where they won't believe you anymore and they may you know bring things out fully to light okay so whatever side of this you sit on what I really see is like somebody trying to keep your relationship hush hush from somebody else or trying to keep their relationship with somebody else hush hush from you whether that's they're indulging and participating in it or it's just like unresolved emotions within themselves that they're trying to hide and pretend are no longer there for somebody else like Taurus I sorry but it's like there's something being hidden here and it's coming to light whether it's on your side or their side okay and you are coming through as being very blocked, very suspicious, very unsure of this, um, like just kind of at your wit's end and there's something shifting inside of you. Um, maybe you're finally seeing like the truth of this and you're like, no more. Either you claim this relationship with me or I'm, I'm out of here, like I'm not waiting around anymore because I feel like there's history to this, Taurus, this connection and, um, you know, maybe it's like some of you even feel like taking things to the next level, the next step is being prevented and hindered by, you know, their connection to an ex or to somebody else in their life. Like you feel like this third party influence is preventing the movement forward of your relationship with this person, Taurus, bottom line. It's like some sort of third party um, factor coming into play. And I just think that, um, you know, you should trust your vibes and stand your ground. And, you know, you shouldn't have to be a secret. Or if you just feel like something's off, you know, in your person and you're like, no, the way you look at that person or the way you talk about them, like it's the energy um, that we notice, you know, where there could be absolutely no inappropriate behavior going on whatsoever. But when you observe the energy between two people, like, that's how you know, right? And so you could see two strangers um, walking down the street, you know, and you could just feel the vibe from them, right? So um, when you're in a relationship with somebody, oh, there's nothing going on. And they could be very honest with you about it. Like, there is no inappropriate behavior. But what you're picking up on, Taurus, is the energy, the vibes, and you're not wrong in that. And so... Um, maybe that's where this sh perception shift needs to come into play is like you've got to trust your instincts and your life experience and you can look at two people and see when they're totally in, in alignment with each other as well as when people aren't in alignment with each other complete strangers you can notice that okay you could pick up on those vibes and pictures and stuff like the chemistry between people okay and so there's something going on here where you're picking up on that or um, you're tired of being a secret, being pushed away, like not, I don't know, Taurus, this is a very interesting read. It's just like there's some third party factor and like um, things being kept secret and it's like coming out to light. Um, it's being exposed. The truth is coming out in August um, and over here again I just want to iterate Taurus um, this person is very attracted to you very connected to you I, I just I don't know what this third factor is and, and why it exists and why it's there in your connection but it definitely does cause a lot of conflict and I just feel like you need to assert yourself and put your foot down and you know not be not put up with that like you know what you know Okay, you do, and you've got to trust yourself. So, anyways, Taurus, not the best love reading. I'm so sorry, but it is what it is. You saw me pull everything, so 
there it is Taurus I am wishing you guys all the best take care